Hi everyone, welcome to the Game 3 recap. Normally I don't make recap videos for games in the NHL playoffs. Sure, I'll make a couple previews now and then, but tonight I felt especially inclined to make a video on the Boston-Florida Game 3. Really disappointment that we just watched and pretty much utter embarrassment for the Boston Bruins, if you want to call it that. I've never seen a team look as bad as the Boston Bruins have in this playoffs. You know, at times they look like the team of old, you know, the team that's made deep cup runs. And then you get nights like tonight, nights like last night, nights like game five against Toronto, nights like game six against Toronto, where time after time, the Bruins just look like, you know, another peewee hockey team coming and playing the night against an NHL team like, you know, the Florida Panthers are. They are a good hockey team. The Leafs, no offense. I'm sure I have a couple Leaf fans coming in to comment profusely about how I'm making fun of their team again. But the truth is, Florida is an actual hockey team. They have goaltending. They have defense. They have forwards. And get this, this is the key part play defense. Unlike the Boston Bruins, who seem just to want to, you know, play their own style, have some fun, and just want to head back out to the golf course. Because, you know, they won what they needed to. They won the first round against the big bad Toronto Maple Leafs. And we'll move on. You know, that's that seems to be it. You know, I could end the video right here. Or we could talk about the game. Or we could talk about why the Boston Bruins are going to be going home in five games at this point if they continue the way that they're playing. I'm not going to end it right now because I do have a little bit more I want to get off my chest. Starting off with the caffeine kick. And let's talk about what the heck is going on with, you know, guys like Campus Lindholm, who looks like he's quite literally shaking out of his boots. I've never seen a player so just jacked up on energy. Maybe that's it. So nervous. He looks like he's doing dipsy doodles around himself. He's turning when he shouldn't be turning, passing the puck into skates. And that's a big point I'm going to get to in just a second. But, you know, the key to success, as we talked about in the preview for the Florida Panthers, obviously, you know, keep momentum. That's what they do. They come back against blown leads and they play games with momentum. If they have momentum with them, they're going to win hockey games. If they don't, then they'll lose. Pretty simple. For the Boston Bruins, it was pretty easy as well. Don't play crappy hockey. And I am a family-friendly channel for the most part, so you can insert whatever word you'd like to there. The key point that I'm trying to get across here is when you pass pucks into skates, when you go flying by, not trying to hit people, like we've seen Pasternak do probably, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 times in the series already, and you don't get shots on net. This has been number, I can't even count the number of times in the series, in this playoffs where the Boston Bruins haven't even got more than five shots on net by 10 minutes left in the second period. When you go 30 minutes into a game with five shots on net, you're probably going to lose hockey games. And look, I mean, hey, is this going to be the new Boston Bruins? Who knows? You know, it's a transition year for them after all, right? So we should just go pack up our bags, go hit the course, you know, bring out the driver. Probably the first drive I've ever seen from the Boston Bruins, at, at least at this point. But let's take the optimist view, right? That's the what we do on this channel. We take the optimism view because we're optimistic about the Bruins, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't take optimism anymore. I've tried way too many times at this point. If the Bruins want to win an NHL hockey game in the playoffs of all, first, you got to play defense. And this is where I'm going to transition into what they need to do because, to be honest, I can complain all night long. We can talk about officiating, but if you're going to talk about officiating, let's be honest here, that's not the reason why they lose hockey games. It's because they just make stupid mistakes time after time after time. Whether that's passing pucks into skates, which I think I counted about 60 or 70 tonight. Whether that is giving the puck away on your own blue line, leading to a goal. Or just taking bad penalties time after time. Lauko one, I'll... I, I, there's no way I can agree with that one. I'm a Bruins fan, number one. And number two, you, you can drive the net and if someone holds you, that's typically a penalty on them. But that's besides the point. That's not the reason why they lost. After all, this game was six to two. 
empty net, power play goal at the end, whatever. 4-2 if you want to call it that. But let's be honest, it was a 4-0 hockey game. Florida dominated from the first, you know, 40, 50, probably 50 minutes we'll go with. 45 if you really want to get fancy. But I've never seen a team look so flat coming off an embarrassing loss. 6-1 to one loss. You know, when you think about it, 6-1, that's kind of hurts. You come out of 150 penalty minutes. You got a, a, quite a bit of momentum going with you, right? When you think about it, you have Pasta fighting Kachuk. Why? Why would he? You know, sure. I don't care. If you want to go fight someone, go for it. But if you're going to go fight someone, you better come to play in the next game. Did Passion not come to play in this one? Well, I mean, if you want to say passing pucks into skates, giving the puck away, Hampus Lindholm, well, they're just going to pass the puck into theirs. Tape to tape. He was really good at that tonight, except he was passing to the red and white blue jersey. You know, the key to success for the Boston Bruins at this point is just to play structured hockey. Go back to what they were doing. Play with energy. Come out. And if you're going to get booed off your own ice, that should say something about what's going on. And we saw it in that second period. You know, the, th the, the they got booed off the ice in the second. Third period rolls around. Did they start well? Mm, you know, you can make an argument for it. Did they play great? Mm, they played great towards the end of the hockey game after Lauko's goal. But did they play great? That seems to be a pretty common theme in this one. Whether that's low ride taking a four minute high sticking penalty leading to two Florida goals, killing them, their momentum, I might add as well. Or the first goal where it's a little pop up from Swayman who just can't seem to, he has not been the same in the series. And now I'm going to start going off because let's be honest, that's part of the fun of these ramp videos is I have no, no script at all. I'm just going to jump around. But here's the trick for Swayman. You got to stop pucks, man. Like, You've been really, really good. And I'm, let's be honest, you're the reason why we're at this point to where we are today. You know, they, Swayman carried them from game one, game two, game three to game seven, right? He was the key part to success for the Boston Bruins. Games one, he played great. He had five goals or six goals or whatever it might be. I have no script in front of me to add to his name. Pretty good. The last two games, he has looked like a dog out of water. And sure, you know, he's facing a lot of shots. Boston isn't playing good defensive hockey. They're allowing way too many odd man rushes, passing pucks out right onto their tape. But at the end of the day, you need key saves. You can't let shots in from the point. You can't let these really bad goals in at this point, at, at this point in the year, especially when it's do or die. Coming into the Sunday night's game, and I'm going to probably try and close with this as best I can. There's one thing I want to see from the Boston Bruins, and that is I want to see them care. You know, our fans care. Boston fans care. That's why they're getting booed off the ice. You know, I'm from Toronto. I went to Leaf Square for games five and six. There's videos on that if you want on the channel. I want to see them play with a little bit of passion, and that's all. I want to see them have some heart. I want to see them play like they actually want to play. I want to see a team that looks like a Stanley Cup contender. You're probably going to be without Brad Marchand. He dislocated his shoulder. You want to know how I know that? Because I have also dislocated my shoulder, and that's the exact same reaction. I'm not going to play doctor, so don't quote me on that, but that is likely what it is. With that being said, for the Boston Bruins, play with a little bit of pride. You wear a spoke B for a reason. It's your centennial year. Go and do something.